Hello and welcome to Electrology, your go-to channel for all things related to electrical engineering. Today we'll be discussing a very important topic used in high voltage switchyards, the one and half breaker system. But before we dive into it, please hit the thanks and join buttons to support the channel. Your support helps us continue creating more valuable content. So, what exactly is a bus bar arrangement? In a switchyard, the bus bar arrangement is essentially a combination of bus bar and circuit breaker. Buses are usually made of hollow tubular aluminum or copper, commonly called IPS tubes, where IPS stands for iron pipe size, a code used for the selection of these tubes. Now, when we talk about high voltage switchyards, like those operating at 400 kV and above, the one and half breaker bus system is often preferred due to its numerous advantages. We'll take a closer look at those later in the video. Let's focus on the one and half breaker scheme. Take a look at the figure on your screen. In this figure, CB stands for circuit breaker, LA stands for lightning arrester, ES for earth switch, and DS for disconnect switch, which is also known as an isolator. In this scheme, three breakers are connected between two buses. Each breaker has two isolators and two earth switches. The isolators are provided to physically isolate the circuit breaker for maintenance and the earth switch ensures that the isolated portion is effectively earthed. Always remember that the earth switch should be closed after the opening of the isolator. A bay of three breakers in this scheme is called a diagonal. In the diagram, we see two diagonals. A feeder is connected between the two breakers circuit breaker A and circuit breaker C, as well as circuit breaker B and circuit breaker C. Notice that three breakers are used in this scheme to protect two feeders. Therefore, it is called three by two or simply one and half breaker scheme. Now, let's consider what happens when there's a fault. Let's say there's a fault in feeder one. The protection system will open circuit breaker A and circuit breaker C while sending a direct trip signal to the remote station through PLCC to isolate the fault. Even though circuit breaker A and circuit breaker C are open, feeder 2 remains in service, powered by bus 2. This configuration significantly increases the reliability of the power system. For maintenance, if we need to work on circuit breaker B of diagonal 1, we can open circuit breaker B, isolate it by opening these two isolators and close this earth switch. Notice that neither feeder 1 nor feeder 2 will go out of service. Feeder 2 will still be fed through circuit breaker A and circuit breaker C. Now, let's explore some of the key advantages of this scheme. High security and reliability. The one and half breaker scheme provides high security against the loss of power supply to feeders. This makes it especially suitable for switchyards associated with generating stations where large amounts of power are handled through individual circuits. This setup allows for minimum outage during maintenance. Less area requirement. Compared to the two main and transfer bus scheme, the one and half breaker arrangement requires less area. Cost effective. This system is more cost effective than the two main and transfer bus scheme. Flexible maintenance. Either bus can be taken out of service for maintenance without interrupting power to the feeders. Maintenance of more than one breaker is also possible without any loss of service. There's no need for isolator operations when switching between buses as all three breakers remain closed during normal operation. Bus fault handling. In case of a bus fault, power to the connected feeders continues from the other bus. This avoids power interruptions required to isolate a faulty bus. In contrast, the two main and transfer bus scheme would trip all associated breakers during a bus fault, resulting in power supply interruption. However, note that if the center breaker fails, it reduces the system's flexibility to switch feeders between buses without interruption. That's it for today's video on the one and half breaker system in high voltage switchyards. If you found this video informative, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to support the channel. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Once again, don't forget to hit the thanks and join buttons to support our work here at Electrology. We'll see you in the next video.